Dear students, I am Ajay Karmarkar. Before starting further, I would like to tell you something. Please watch video completely and sit with copy pen. And if you find somewhere important, then note it and proceed further. If you find anywhere some problems or difficulties, please write in comment box. I will definitely solve your problem. And along with, please like, share, and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students. The question is here a particle of mass m is projected from the ground with an initial speed u0 at an angle alpha with the horizontal. At the highest point of the trajectory, it makes a completely inelastic collision with another identical particle, which was thrown vertically upward from the ground with the same initial speed u0. The angle, the angle that the composite system makes with the horizontal immediately after the collision. Here we have given four options. That is one is uh, pi by four. Second is pi by 4 plus alpha, third is pi by 4 minus alpha, and fourth is pi by 2. This question is asked J advanced 2013. So, what is the question? Here we have given two identical particles. Identical particle means its mass is same and initial velocity is same. Okay. So here let the name is given that first particle is 1 and second particle is 2. One particle, first particle is thrown vertically with making angle alpha from the ground. And the path is trajectory path is parabolic, and second particle is thrown directly vertical upward. Okay, and with initial velocity is u naught. Its initial velocity is also u naught. Here, that is a uh, angle is given that that is alpha, and so therefore its initial velocity u naught cos alpha, and its uh, velocity that is u naught sin alpha. But at the moment, at the maximum height, this sin alpha component becomes zero. Why? Because there is no maximum height. It is also maximum height. It means though no any other components working to the upward direction. So therefore, here for the v1 equal to u naught cos alpha is acting at the x direction. Here, so maximum height at the moment of maximum height, both the particles collide each other, and its collision is perfectly inelastic. It is given that in the question that this collision is perfectly inelastic. What does it mean of inelastic collision? Means when two particles with collide and they are having common velocity. They stick together and they are moving with uh, together. Okay. So, it is uh, called inelastic collision. And what is the meaning of elastic collision? Elastic collision means its momentum and kinetic energy is conserved. That is called is elastic collision. So they are having some difference. So here the maximum height for the both the cases the same. So v for from the value of h maximum height u square sine square alpha by 2g it is initial velocity so u naught for the same values attained for the second particle also. So we get the final velocity of this particle v2 square by using equation of third equation of motions v2 square u naught square equal to minus 2gh. Why we have to hear minus? Because we have thrown this uh, any particle which is against to the acceleration of the gravity. Okay. And so therefore minus 2g. Now substitute this value u square sine square alpha upon 2g. It is v2 square minus u naught square. Minus 2g, 2g cancel out. This v2 square and u naught transposing to the right side become positive sin square alpha. Now v2 square u naught get common 1 minus sin square alpha and you know that very well 1 minus sin square alpha can be written as cos square alpha and v2 is equal to u naught cos alpha and you see that here this v2 is also u naught cos alpha and this value and this value same. Okay, so it is a perfectly inelastic collision, and uh, for the resultant, we get this value that is v, and uh, this is alpha. Okay, so here this is alpha angle, and let us consider this perpendicular value is y, and uh, horizontal value is x, then tan alpha equal to y by x. Here, y, what is the y? 
u naught cos alpha u naught cos alpha and here 10 alpha cancel out then 10 alpha equal to 1 then alpha equal to pi by 4. So let's see which option is correct here. First option is pi by 4 that is the correct answer. I hope so you understood this question. Thank you for staying till the end of the video and I remind you those who have not subscribed yet do it immediately by pressing bell icon. Thank you. Take care. Bye bye.